Welcome back. Some of the girls from my staff, along with Lori Gottlieb, the author of this book, Marry Him. Uh, do you want me to say the rest of it? The case for settling for Mr. Good Enough? But it's deeper than that, Lori is saying, because we all went, oh, oh you know. Uh, but waiting for Mr. Wright. Now, some of you had a different reaction to the book, some of the, my friends here. Abigail, Rachel, Ashley, Nefertiti. So who, go ahead, Abigail. You're from another generation. Well, when I first read it, I felt really anxious. It made me feel, I feel like I date a lot too. And I was like, am I not doing this right? Because I feel like I'm pretty open-minded. But, you know, when I was reading the idea of objective and subjective, you know, I was thinking, you know, I am, I can be very particular. But I think it made me feel like when I get older, am I going to feel like regrets if I've like let someone go? But I also feel like I strongly trust my instincts. Good thing to remember. And mm -hmm. that's, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that I would go back and date anyone that I am not with anymore. Because I like trusted myself and knew that it didn't work out for a certain reason. So that's I mean, a I lot think of wisdom in that, a lot of wisdom in what you just said. I think that it's important for, especially when you're young, trust that voice that's inside you that says, smiley face isn't good. <laughs> right. But I mean, and there are also really great points to the book. Like I felt the idea of being really open-minded, I think, is yeah, really yeah. something that, you know, we can all like learn from, especially my girlfriends who just, we pick apart everyone. I mean, today I got a text message and I was like, he spelled something wrong. Rachel, this is my friend Rachel. We've met each other in college, friends ever since. Yeah, and, and I would agree. It did make me feel a little anxious. I guess I'm more optimistic about still finding the right person for me, and, and I agree with women being and men being way too picky about stupid things that don't really matter. It's not at all about, like, finding somebody who's Mr. All Right. It's about finding Mr. Right, but, re, but making sure that you have the perspective so you can find Mr. Right. Because I think a lot of times we overlook people who could be Mr. Right, but we don't even get them into the same way. Um, you, but I've known you, I've known a lot of the guys that you've dated, because we've known each other since college. I think you do have an open mind. You've given some guys a chance Absolutely. to... Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know yeah, what it I is? And I've never had a list. It's more about the qualities of, of person, and I've, I've never made a list of things. And I don't have girlfriends like that. I don't, I mean, See? they've found amazing men in their 40s, some younger men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in the book, there was a lot about, if you're over 40, you're, you're never, you know, you, you, you better get married soon and the men aren't going to want you in their 40s and men as our men spokesperson yeah come on don mm -hmm. and daniel yeah. do you Blake, men you're not look for women who are younger or or don't oh, take I mean, care about age oh daniel your wife is so much younger than you i know that's true but when i was first <laughs> single i dated a lot of different people i thought that you know men are more forgiving i think in in terms of these lists and i think that when i first became single there were a lot of women out there that I found attractive of all ages and, and you know I think it's just different for guys I think guys are not going to be making a big long list I, I, and I just thought there were tons of options out there in terms of single available women and I think for women it's interesting I think they, they become so picky in particular that they end up you know making themselves exclusive in a way that that you know uh, uh, but yeah. I also think it's well, there are great guys out there that's what the book is about is yeah, that there are so many great guys out there and often we have, you know, all these reasons not yeah. to notice. I'll yeah, tell I you mean, also, I though, I did, I did feel a lot of pressure when I was dating uh, a woman in, in their 30s or in early 40s, which I did, because I felt that they were, there was a real pressure to get married or that they wanted to get married mm -hmm. a lot of times, and that made it harder to, to date mm -hmm. that age range. And, and I think that that was sort of a problem, too. I think if you're open-minded... Wait, the age range or the woman? Well, Because lot, if it's the right woman, would her age... Does no, really it wasn't matter? for me. It wasn't the issue for me. I was saying that a lot of those women in that age range were really thinking, I could tell, there's this pressure. Yeah, but what if you, the, the woman you're married to now, what if Diane were older? It would have been Diane you were marrying, so it wouldn't right, matter. I didn't feel pressure, and I think that if you're open-minded going into a relationship, like, not like, okay, is this working out? I'm going to, I don't know, with two dates with this guy, what's going on with him? Guys feel that kind of pressure, and, and it doesn't, it's not necessarily the most comfortable thing. Can I, may I ask, Leif, you're 20 something. Yeah. Do you feel the pressure to get married in um, your relationship? Because you have a lovely girlfriend that I think you should marry. But I, <laughs> I, I do. And well, we, we love her. Yes. Hi, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's great. Uh, uh oh. I, uh -oh. 
<laughs> yeah. Careful, I, uh, pal, careful. <laughs> thin ice, the ice is thin, careful. Um, I've said that I'm not ready to get married until I'm 30. I'm 26 now. To me, married means kids and like going from there and like owning a house and sort of important things, but like not, not things that I'm in any hurry to do at this point. I'm more focused on my career and more focused on, uh, you know, building my life and like I love her, like she's great and we're kind of like figuring each other out. But um, yeah, I'm not in any hurry to like really settle down. No, and, and I think that's nice and honest and, and, and mature of you to think of it that way. As long as Leif continues to be honest with himself, he'll be fine. And to, to if Amelia wants to talk about it, then you, you gotta talk about it. But just stay honest, because if you're not honest, then you're, gonna, then you're going down a road you don't wanna be in. Yeah. And that's when it gets bad. Absolutely. I know, because I got married on a dare. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta talk to this gentleman right here with his arms folded in a black t-shirt. No, you, sir. <laughs> you are you so frustrated with this conversation? Now, no. is that your wife? Yes. Okay. How, how did you guys meet? Is it a first marriage? Yes. yes. Oh, and how old was it? Young kids when you got married, or? Well, his best, my best friend in high school was dating his best friend, and we just got thrown. So this beginning. is a high school romance? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right after high school, year after high school. And so, how long ago is that? 26 years this year. Aww. Now, did you ever, uh, how, I mean, did you yeah, ever I have... Him in the beginning, no. <laughs> no? No, no. He had this jerry curl. No. Oh, he was sporting a jerry curl. No. I was from Orange County, he was from L.A., and it's like, ooh, no. But and see, what but, about... But, but like I was just telling him, I said, if I had had a list, he wouldn't have been on it. There was no way. See, that's interesting. Yeah. And what about you, sir? Did she, was, is your wife what you thought? Uh, yes, I okay. think so. No, no, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? As you get older, you grow. I think men love deeper when they get older. Maturity. And, yeah, and I see that more. I, I love her more now than I loved her then. And I see it, I'm like, okay. I said, because I see what she's gone through and stuff. And I said, you know what? I love her more now, and I'm like, I would not want to be right now single. No way. Oh, you know, that no, makes sorry. me so happy to hear. Pretty nice. All the, all the women are looking at you down the aisle going, oh, yeah, I like Oh, no, but it's nice. I do, think, I, th I do think that you mature through a relationship differently than you do on your own. I think that you just uh, can learn a lot about yourself through someone else if you take the time to do it. Are we leaving? Right. What are you giving me the finger for, Don? <laughs> <laughs> one more minute. New uh, signal. Oh, one more minute. Is that what it meant? <laughs> when we come back, we're going to find out how to make online dating work for you. Oh, this will be interesting. I want to talk about that dating coach idea, too. What's that about? We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs>